Look, man, I know bandwagon is a trigger word, but I also understand a lot of Warrior fans became fans during this five-year run, and rightfully so. I'm not here to judge when you became a fan, but let's see how big of a dub fan you have become. During the 73-win season, who is the leading scorer off the bench? Iguodala, Livingston, Barbosa, or Mo Space? All right, I admit that was kind of a sneaky one here because you're going to see Mo just averaged 0.1 more points than Andre. But look, man, Andre did that in 26 minutes. Mo buckets 11 minutes of work, seven points a game. And frankly, during that 15 season, he had some moments that really carried us offensively off the bench. But as you can see also, they really stayed true to the mantra strength in numbers. All four of these guys' major contributions off the bench. How many seasons did it take Steph to pass Dell on the all-time three-point field goal list? Two, four, six, or seven? If you were thinking four, so was I, considering the volume Steph shot him up. But the reality is, Dell played 16 seasons and was one of the more prolific three-point shooters of his era. But look, Steph did it in less than half the games, and now he's moved on to bigger fish, and that is the all-time three-point made leader in Ray Allen. But don't look now, the beard right behind Steph might get it done considering how many he shoots. Clay Thompson was childhood friends with what NBA All-Star? James Harden, Kawhi, Kevin Love, or Russell Westbrook? I tried to fool y'all using all L.A. hoopers, right? But I think most of you knew this. I think this was almost an underplayed storyline in those finals. Childhood friends getting to battle on the biggest stage was a cool moment, kind of overshadowed by LeBron, Draymond, and Steph and all the other storylines. Who did the Warriors trade on draft day for Antoine Jameson? Vince Carter, Penny Hardaway, Chris Mullen, or C. Webb? That one was for some of the longer suffering dub fans that vividly remember us trading Vince Carter on draft night for his teammate Antoine Jameson. But look, man, like if you really want to go back on their careers, to be honest with you, I don't think it was as lopsided as as maybe we remember. Vince had a much higher peak, but as far as a whole career, Antoine had himself a, a, a nice one. Vince not helping his career numbers these last few seasons, though, right? Real quick, who was the bust of that year's draft? First pick, remember? Have you ever heard of Candyman? Michael Olawa Candy. Who did Draymond replace in the starting lineup? Harrison Barnes, Andre Iguodala, Andrew Bogut, or David Lee? I know Kerr did a lot of shuffling, but you should remember if you watched that 15 season when David Lee's elbow got stuck in Wilson Chandler's tooth and then infected, he was out for an extended period of time, which opened up the door for Draymond to start in his place, and then the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> when did KD shed his skin? Oh, wait, hold on, my bad, my bad. How many times did he drop 50 as a warrior? Twice, three times, or was it four?
He did it three times, all in his final season as a Warrior, first in November. And one of my favorite KD performances was in a loss in Toronto against Kawhi. And then again, Valentine's Day in Portland resulted in another L. And then you remember. I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. 50 in the closeout game in round one against Pat Bev in those clips. Who led the Warriors in both rebounds and blocks this season? Marquise Chris, Eric Paschal, Willie Cauley-Stein, or Omari Spellman? Tank check, how many of y'all were actually watching this year? And Marquise Chris quietly had himself a very nice season and I think has found himself a home here in Golden State as a rim protector and a rebounder. Last question, who do y'all want to draft? Now, obviously, this is an unprecedented draft process, but assuming the Warriors land in the top five, hopefully the top three, who are you looking at? LaMelo, Wiseman, Ant-Man? Or I know a lot of fans are talking about perhaps trading back in the draft and acquiring more assets because there is no consensus number one in this draft, or is there? For those of you that don't know, on my Patreon, I've gone through week by week and broken down all these top prospects in the way you know only alchemy can do. So if you can, man, it's as little as a dollar a month and you would be supporting real, genuine, unique sports content. Either way, it's all love, though. Drop me your pick in the comments, as well as maybe a question for some of you other Warrior fans. If you can think of some tough ones, I wanted to keep it kind of balanced. I could have got real crazy and hard, and I didn't want it to be too easy. So see what you come up with, or let me know when you became a fan, and then maybe I can give you a personal question. But I'm also interested to know where y'all leaning in this draft with such little information and no combine. I'm out, y'all. So long as